साधु साधु सो डियर दम फ्रेंड्स when it come to buddha's teaching the mainly we practice our teachings with two pillars one is wisdom other one towards the compassion so when you develop your ordinary life you have to develop your life with these two pillars to you have to develop this two path so in conventional life you need certain kind of wisdom to maintain your life without getting any harm to yourself also without doing any harm to others and that is not enough and then you have to expand that wisdom in this very lifetime you have to be very successful person that success means not just only the material success that material success necessary but at the same time you have to remember your internal development that mean as a human being how much the satisfaction and contentment you develop and how much awareness and understanding you develop that is very matter for your entire existence in this very lifetime you have to be a successful person and also not only that whatever the 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 bodily verbally or mental action you perform here should bring the the comfort and higher per, higher level of existence after you die so whatever the bodily or mentally verbally action you perform today if it is create a kind of like a feedback going to take you down lower than this life so that also is kind of like a failure for you so then while you developing your life in one way developing the wisdom that way and other side you have to develop the compassion to the same level of within yourself so when it come to compassion the very first thing that you need you have to deeply appreciate who you are having this life and experiencing this life as the human being it's very rare one time buddha mentioned kicho manusya patilabu kichang machan jivita having getting into a human realm get the human plane human existence is not easy it is very very difficult and somehow you able to experience that so then you have to know where you are and you have to know who you are and from there so you have to appreciate that and at the same time you have to have a certain compassion regarding yourself you have no rights to hate yourself it's kind of like violating the the fundamental human qualities violating human ethics we if you hate yourself it doesn't mean you hate just only for you when you hate yourself when you angry yourself when you unhappy unsatisfied yourself that's mean you are unhappy with this entire the human nature so that is the that is where you have to be very careful that's why when you when people get angry themselves they start to to go and harm to others they start to put other people in difficulties so that's mean when you get angry when you get hurt when you become sad worry don't think it is just going to be limited to your skin you are become a kind of like a person you are going to hurt or you are get angry you get mad with the, the entire human existence so and at the same time so when it come to compassion the very first thing when you have the compassion regarding yourself 
that doesn't mean you have a very self-centered compassion the same like the 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 opposite side of the the hatred when you have the compassion regarding yourself that doesn't mean you just compassion only for you that help to create a bridge to have the compassion regarding the entire human existence so then it is very necessary yourself when you practice the dharma to develop this both side and then once the compassion you develop you within yourself and not only you when you go when you become wiser wiser what you recognize is you understand this life happening because of other people not only other people other animals many living beings as you know there are many many bugs that help for our human existence and it they balance this this life circle and there are a lot of animals help us and especially this being this bees they are pollinate help to pollinate and the, the birds and the cows and there are many many animals and invisibly they help for this entire world to be like this even even yesterday when i was here here the discussion uh, that the the dr pauchi that he told the very first thing he told if somebody going to find a, the vaccine for this uh, virus before they put into human the very first thing they have to put they have to put it to animals and see what is the reaction i was thinking at that moment look we are we think oh we are the superior and we are human being we we are we can do everything whatever we want and uh, we are so advanced with the science and technology like that way but look and to create a kind of like a good medicine and first thing we that they going to try with the animals so maybe that animals going to die who knows and maybe that animals going to create different different kind of unnatural behavior but still that it going to protect the human beings so then yourself if you hate yourself it kind of like uh, you wasting that all other animals lives also so then if you if you become healthy and if you become good person yourself and if you behave good and if you even protect other living beings it's giving some meaning to the world and yourself and it giving some credit for even the other unseen this all the living beings who ever try to help or us to become like this so then take it very serious remember yourself even never have a thought regarding yourself becoming disappointed there is no reason for yourself because of this little little situations in your life with this little little up and down don't have any kind of disappointment why because you are more worth than that incident so appreciate yourself that is a kind of like a, the recognition yourself and not only that then you able to understand the, the other living beings around you so this both wisdom and compassion you have to develop this both so that is the main the teachings come with the buddha's teaching it is not a one thing because if you lose one thing that other thing cannot exist itself so then it's kind of like a, with this electricity fee, male female so you if you lose one connection the other connection doesn't work plus minus so same like always remember whatever you do and develop the the compassion and wisdom to the po- both level the same level and that way you you going to become more 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 
successful person in conventional life and even in the eternal life. So that is very necessary. Why? Because sometimes that we go with the, the, the wisdom path and sometimes we forget the, the compassion. And sometimes we become completely compassion and we forget the wisdom part and that is and sometimes we get hurt from that why because when you have the compassion if you don't know how to maintain it maybe you get hurt it's like uh, you're going to use the poison and without knowingly how you're going to use it why because you have to use the compassion to maybe other people whoever don't know what is compassion so then that's why you have to develop the both sides. And the, when it comes to wisdom path, it is just not this learning this outside conventional informations. The self-realization, that is the supreme realization or the supreme wisdom that you can gain. So then how much time you use in day-to-day -day life to recognize who you are? So what is really happening within yourself? What is the meaning of that you are living? So you have to put some time little by little. You don't need to in the, the put whole day. You cannot do it. But at least five minutes, 10 minutes, just get into in the beginning, the start with the being silence. Shut down all your bodily, verbally, and mentally action and get into silence so on. In Western, it called go to the closet. It is your time. You don't do anything. You don't watch TV. You don't listen to music or you don't read books. You don't talk with anybody. You don't answer cell phone. You don't go anywhere. Just keep that time for you in the beginning. So that is once you learn how to become silence, that become a very good profitable skill when you, if you really want to develop the wisdom path. So that outside silence and slowly will help you to get into inner silence. So that is more worst. And uh, sometimes in society we see people talk very nice, smiling and they're wearing beautiful and they go to parties, they dance, singing. And but sometimes they come home and their life become miserable. Why? Because this inner chattering always proliferates and always keep talking, 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 talking. And I was studying regarding the suicide situations. And uh, the most of people, so when they suicide, and when they kill themselves sometimes, the mostly they shoot like this to their head. Not anywhere else. Why this come to, why they gun, the, the point the, the, they keep the gun to their head? Psychologically, because this inner chattering. So that, so that much it's powerful. So then remember yourself, get slowly, little by little, get into the silence zone and stop this inner chattering. So be completely silent. Sometimes it is very difficult. You will see it's very difficult in the beginning to get into. So then what you can do? You can do read the sutra or you can get into a nice uh, compassion mantra, or you can get into kind of like a beautiful chanting. So like that, use something in the beginning. So you want to come out of the thoughts and then you use some kind of words. And every day you have to keep, you keep doing it for that moment. And then, so then slowly start to get into meditation a little bit. So when it comes to that meditation, don't just shut down and close your eyes and keep thinking. Why? Because the very purpose of meditation, get out of the thought pattern. So then you need the mental object. So get into the inhalation, exhalation and observe the sensation. 
stay with and recognize and how this inhalation exhalation happening how this body rising and falling so observe it and that give the deeper connection to the the very nature of you it never disconnect you all this inner chattering all these thoughts and disconnects us not only us and once we disconnect ourselves what will happen you start to disconnect from your family your husband wife children your partners loved ones and brother sisters you don't see anybody anymore so that's why deeper when you recognize that deeper silence it bring the connection to you and that connection has power to build the bridge around you with others so that become itself the wisdom yourself that's why when the buddha attained to the buddha hood and when he developed the community of sangha he never told any monks to go to forest and hide there what the buddha mentioned charita bhikkave charikam bahujan hitaya bahujan sukhaya when you get into more understanding understanding what you do you come out of your self centered mind and you start to sacrifice your life for the good and for the benefit of others so when you develop your wisdom in in path in that path and day by day day by day you become profitable to yourself and also you become profitable to others so that is the beauty of the wisdom path it is a very beautiful way to experience the life look at the world you are in the very beautiful place in this human existence if you look at if you look at the history and the only thing in during this virus situation time we are in a very uh, kind of like a stuck moment but still it giving us some kind of opportunities for us it completely different situation and even though it is worse situation we have more opportunities today and if you heard that uh, that uh, uh, 1980 that spanish flu how the people used to deal with it and what kind of pe- had that the difficulties people went through all over the world and it kind of like a hell but today still we are not like that it because of the the time period that we having otherwise that this everything can become more worse than this but still we able to experience this beautiful life because we are in this time period so then you have some responsibilities what is that try to be the best of you and bring your best version and remember and develop the wisdom path little by little that how you develop it and the very first thing develop the the yourself the the inner wisdom that the connection within yourself for that start to disconnect things and be silence and find a place for yourself and stop inner chattering and always this blah 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 get out of it and always in the la la land get out of it calm down relax a little bit and the shut down your phone a little bit then the it's okay you have the computer you have the phone and everything but get into one time maybe 6 o'clock every day 7 o'clock in the evening you don't do that things you get into some spiritual practice and you go to deeper silence yourself and observe yourself that is enough in the beginning why because it's like a planting a seed when you have the good seed and you know when the right soiled meat it going to bring the the good result so this kind of little activities is kind of like that and for children for your children especially young people so remember you have to develop something within yourself with the spiritual practice it doesn't matter what you know and it doesn't matter in in which field you are and it doesn't matter that what kind of background you you come from if your parents didn't do that 
remember yourself to start to develop some kind of spiritual foundation little bit so even five minutes in and that will protect you from many 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 situations otherwise you can collapse we see it every day everywhere so it should not happen so then yourself you have responsibility so then if you are parents so if you parenting your children whatever you give always remember from the from the beginning of the their life try to teach them sit down properly and uh, do some kind of spiritual practice themselves and get out of this inner chattering and get out of this la la land in their head and try to be silent and develop some kind of spiritual practice do chanting little bit and get into some kind of meditation and loving kindness meditation so like that so that become the wisdom a deeper insight maybe it is in the beginning difficult it it develop the pressure that is it it is important that pressure is good otherwise always don't try to make them more 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 comfortable so that way their life not going to beautiful as you know the diamond is the most important the iron in the in the world that's the most precious when it come to gem how the diamond come and and underneath this earth that it go the the is that the charcoal go through is that the huge pressure 100 100 years how the gems come to that level in that underneath this earth with the enormous pressure with the heat and the pressure and get, they go through to transform to something so our life the same nothing going to come very comfortable way so then yourself always remember developing wisdom is a art and in that art the very first thing that you have to remember to sacrifice little bit without sacrificing yourself nothing going to come even in the conventional life forget about the spiritual life even in the conventional life if you cannot turn off your phone little bit if you cannot come out of the tv if you cannot miss your, your favorite tv program or if you cannot let go the cartoon or if you cannot just uh, let go your favorite food how you can be healthy in the future how you can become better person if you cannot get out of the 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 computer games do you think in the future you going to become a, that the better person and get a get better job no it's not going to happen because if you cannot sacrifice this little thing for you do you think in the future that everything going to be in front of you kind of like appear like a gene genie going to bring this everything no your own sacrifice going to build who you are so even then conventional life it is okay let go this little little comfort that is a art and then when it go to spiritual life yourself little by little that get out of the the unnecessary that the comfort zone that we build for so that way you will see how your life going to become more comfortable and is it going to become more stable that is a that is a wisdom itself and then the compassion part and when it come to compassion ourselves when we develop our our own heart when we melt with the loving kindness compassion generosity rather than making it kind of like a rock like kind of like a iron ball we through this practice it melt us that when we melt ourselves it bring the it it help us to create something so in even in this material world that if you cannot um, maintain anything if you cannot bend anything or if you cannot turn anything it can, if you cannot move anything yourself what the point you're not going to buy that anything 
in america when uh, when they build the ikea you know very famous this ikea concept when they came to this ikea the one of the very beautiful thing that why the ikea that the they they became more successful they start to build concept the person that himself or herself can maintain whatever the the all the tools and the the all the furniture themselves and they build it in a different different small parts and then you can so they otherwise huge table huge bed if you put in the middle of your room if you cannot move it yourself you are in trouble so the mind also the same if you have idea yourself if if you cannot bend it yourself if you cannot hold it yourself if you cannot turn it change it yourself convert it yourself you are in trouble so then loving kindness and compassion bring this ability to ourselves and not only that when we maintain when we have the conversation with others and uh, it it make us more more comfortable with them that comfort is very necessary because otherwise if we become uncomfortable with others and they not going to be with us and slum somehow they going to go away so then always remember yourself little by little little by little develop that quality and uh, even with the animal that there are two ways sometimes you see that there are these wild animals maybe horse tiger lion or any you can hold them elephants you can hold them you can tie them you can beat them and that way also for a certain limit you can control them have you seen that uh, in, in circus field sometimes lions start to attack their own people and around they are they are trainers elephants mostly they attack to their own mahout and their own people the people around them how it is possible why it happen like that way and because if you through punishment if you through hardship if you through kind of like uh, violating the the very nature of the animal if you control that one day it going to come back it bounce back it doesn't matter where maybe in it maybe it not going to happen in this environment but remember in the sansaric journey there is something happen we have to go through same kind of environment sometimes different different timelines so in this environment whatever you do and this is kind of like as you know the seasons so it is a different topic but uh, just i want to give you an idea you know the season so the seasons happen naturally and the so the life also so whatever you do in in this season and sometimes maybe you do something good so you not going to get a good result this season so in the sansaric journey you going to get kind of like a same kind of environment one day and that time that whatever you have done going to become powerful so same like even with the animal so we try to maintain them hold them use them in very bad way and we do it for people also and we try to con control people we try to maintain them and may we try to overtake them so like that we try to punish them so like that way we try to to maintain our human life but that way it doesn't work it never going to work it never worked in the past and it never going to work in the future and uh, we have to under, but still people keep doing it still people keep doing it. so then ourselves what we have to do 
what the Buddha taught us. There is another way. If you develop the compassion, loving kindness, and even for wild animal, with the compassion, when you start to have talk with them, and they, they start to feel you. See, there are some people, and they go to jungle without anything, without any train. And they have the trust and they understand that uh, animal behavior. And they go with that animals. And there was a very famous person used to be, stay with crocodiles. And nowadays in Florida, there is a guy in the sea, stay with the, the, the lions. So there are some people, they used to talk with dogs. So they, they have the kind of like a lang knowledge to understand. So the same thing with the horses, the birds. So when you have, when you develop that compassion, it is stronger than you put the chain on their neck or on their leg. So then remember yourself, don't put a chain on a human neck and hold them and thinking you, you are the boss. It never going to work. In one day, if, when the moment comes, they're going to kick you out. And maybe it's not going to happen in this environment, but in the sansaric journey somewhere, they, it, it going to happen. It's going to happen. If somebody gets hurt because of you, remember, and if you have the intention to hurt that person, and then it's going to happen. No one doing it. It's not a punishment. It is a, just the reaction. So then you have to be very careful and use the compassion always. It is more stronger than beating or the, the putting a chain or punishing. So you have to build this both sides, both pillars when you go towards the, the liberation. When you 100% master these both pillars, compassion and the wisdom, both pillars, to the same level, day by day, day by day, day by day, towards yourself and towards others. And then one day you will see the light of the, the wisdom going to appear to you. So with that, there was a long, long time ago, there were people used to use this bull cart and that was the best transport system during thousand thousand years ago so that time one day this 500 uh, merchants they went to one city to another city with this 500 bull cart the all the 500 bulls and car the, the pulling the cart and go business trip. So what happened in the middle of the jungle and it was heavy rain and then the road was muddy. What happened this all the 500 bull carts stuck. And then the, everybody start to beat the bulls and try to shout them and to get out of it and but what happened again and again when they start to beat these bulls and they became more lazy more lazy more lazy and they feel more tired and they get stuck more and more and in that mud so there was a wise person the bodhisattva and he start to think what happened this never happened to us before. Now we get stuck in the mud and we used to get stuck, get stuck in the mud then before, but these bulls used to, to get out of it and they were trained for this kind of situations. But today what happened? And then in that 500 bull carts, the bulls, and there was a lead, kind of like a leader that oh, he that it go the first that other all the bulls follow this. So one person was hitting very badly 
and saying very bad words and agitating and try to give hard time to this bull and this bull was so lazy and tired and give up because of the anger the all other bulls what they did they start to follow that bull and then the bodhisattva understood that and went to this bull and took out that person and start to touch this bull and start to talk nice words and told my son we have to get out of this and this we are 500 people and we go to another city for our business and we have to go back our children waiting there and our wives and our people waiting there we have to go back so like that and you are helping for us so much so like that you start to appreciate so then what happened the suddenly this bull stand and start to pull it cart and following that all the 500 bulls and stand and start to pull all the 500 that bull cart from the mud and complete the journey so the same thing with the human life also remember that the same way we also react to situations so when situations come sometimes we also stuck in our life with them in the mud so then you have to be very careful the words that you use the behavior that you have the mindset you carry and always remember we as human beings we're going to get the the path towards the light not towards the dark so with that we bless upon you by the power of this good patris may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibba. Sabbhiti vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayu sukhi diga yuko bhava. Itta vata chami sambadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya. Sabbe Bhuta no more than to Sabba Sampati Siddhya Sabbe Sata no more than to Sabba Sampati Siddhya Idame Punya Kamanga Savakaya Vahang O to Sabba Dukkha Pamanchatu Bless you.